Can you honestly trust Brave Davis with your future? The PLP has not changed its ways. In fact they have gotten worse. In fact the same reasons you voted the PLP and the last PLP leader out of office and took his seat, is very much the same reason to now send Brave Davis home to his political retirement. Yeah, what do we try to do? I'm going to let them. We could have done a separate thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know. You two will meet together. We'll be together now. And then we'll have a general meeting now. And then we'll rest down and then afterwards. So I spoke to him one day because we're coming together. We're trying to get some papers ready for capital cases. So I tell him I'll pop in. Nygaard has been denied bail by the highest court in Canada. Nygaard awaits extradition to New York in the United States where he will stand trial for a series of sexual trafficking offenses involving underage Bahamian girls, and scores of others from the USA and Canada. It is the sexual abuse and sex slave trafficking trial of the century. Who protected Nygaard while he was in the Bahamas? Did Nygaard's funding of the PLP and gifts to PLP politicians buy him protection? When the press questioned Brave Davis on the PLP's association with Peter Nygaard in October last year, Davis was not transparent in his answer. Peter, what's his name? The Bahamas cannot afford to be blacklisted by the Americans and the Canadians, our major tourist partners in the USA and Canada. Can you imagine the international shame and disgrace and blacklisting the PLP will bring on the Bahamas? The PLP old guard just needs to be sent home. We all have mothers, wives, sisters and daughters and sons. The PLP was more concerned about giving Nygaard what he wanted. And we all know what that was. Brave Davis is unfit to lead the Bahamas on any given day. It's your decision. Brave and the PLP made theirs many years ago.